but there was no, nothing, uh, nothing harder than than double sessions at Cheney. And anybody that's been were through those uh, would tell you the same thing. And that that led to you know to August fifth, middle of August, which is when doubles started. And doubles were legit. I mean, it was. Um, 7.30 to 3.30, and you get an hour and a half lunch, and I'm telling you, you'd, you'd get off the field, and you would uh, jump in the shower and just just to cool down and get the dirt out of your nose and, and uh, hair and eyes and whatnot. Um, and then brown bag and cores for drinks. You brought your own drink, your own lunch, and... Um, um, uh, then you'd be on the mats, feet up in the air, and you'd go out. I mean, <laughs> you'd you'd, oh, you'd yeah, sleep I, because I, I remember because yeah. at one o'clock you're coming back out, peak of the day, peak yeah, of the heat, yeah, and full equipment. You're putting that wet equipment back on, and you're going through con- the conditioning part of practice. Um, and 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 you know I'm not going to get into all the things that that uh, we we did during doubles. I mean it was, but it was there was there was not there was not any rest. I mean it was just constantly constantly go and you were um, you know you you were either hitting a dummy or you were hitting somebody. I mean, hmm. uh, it, it was, uh, or the tackle matic was coming at you and, and, and whatnot. And, and, and I had, I have in my notes, you know, I, um, jobs that I've had over the years, I, 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 I worked in the mill as a hot, hot baller, a, a second helper, um, worked back to back cap heats, uh, labored for a bricklayer, two bricklayers putting up, uh, Fireplace chimneys, um, four sca- three scaffolds high, and 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 laboring uh, for that, um, but there was no- nothing uh, nothing harder than than double sessions at Cheney. And anybody that's been w- were through those uh, would tell you the same thing. I, I guarantee you would that that I mean, it was like. Laying out in the sun at a country club when I went to college compared to, to, to Cheney. I mean, and doubles were doubles. I mean, they were hard uh, at, at Mount Union, but compared to, to Cheney, I mean, it was, um, it was insane. Uh, but it, it, it made us better. It, it, it really did. Uh, uh, it, it, and... To be fair, did did it did it wear us? I, you know, I can, I can tell you that when 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 we were coaching, um, we had a number of scares with guys that went down, okay, with heat exhaustion mm-hmm. or, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. and and we tried to follow. I mean, we had ice on the field and water and whatnot. Um, I can remember one time when someone was really really. Suspect as far as uh, being heat damaged, and, and that was Billy Drewstack. And I remember, you know, the he, he probably had severe heat exhaustion, and they just put him in a chair up in the shower and put the cold showers on him, and you know, and that was. But that's the only thing I can remember. As yeah, far as uh, and but. In any event, that was uh, that 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 led to the season, um, hmm. you know. So, the, so the, you know th- that is, in a nutshell, what what the program was at the time. Okay, you know. So it evolved from playing as many sports as you can to still encouraging that, but um, the guy. Uh, 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 offering an alternative to the guys that didn't play those other sports. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, I, I, I think it was 
absolutely instrumental in in the success that followed. So when 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 Ed when Ed took over when uh, uh, him and Joe Joe Lutze, um, they they pretty much followed suit. I mean, I, I think that uh, you know coaches are notorious um, copiers. I mean, you know, sure. yeah. You, and I've, I've we've talked about this a number of times. You know, you you grab a little bit of of things that you learn from from you know that, that that's that's the way of the world from people that you coached under or, or coached with um, and uh, experiences that you had. So, you know, I think when 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 Red uh, got out and, and, and Ed took over, um, that that they you know hey if it's not broke you know uh, uh, don't try to fix it. So the, you know I, th I I think that they did, but I I will say that I think there was some some adjusting, you know, obviously. Um, uh, uh, when, when I, I know with the 74 team, I know a lot of guys that played on that team um, tell me that, uh, you know, they had so many guys and, and they were so platoon-oriented that, that they, um, um, the offense would go out and practice, you know, like if it was a cold day, um, or, or or rainy, the, and, and and the defense would be in the gym, and then when the offense was done, so they had obviously had enough to have the scout team, yeah, you know, uh, to run against, and then the defense would come out and do the same thing, yeah, uh, and the offense would come in, um, and 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 you know, to be honest, that 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 might have been that year only, okay, I I I, I don't know that. I know that that wasn't the case. I came around Ed's last 10 years, and uh, it was pretty much, you know, what I just described as far as uh, um, what, what we did with, uh, with Red. Um, and uh, that, was, that was the program. Now, there were probably more guys involved there still wasn't baseball or maybe baseball was just coming in towards the end of, of uh, Ed's tenure coming back because I, I, I think there was a time in the 50 40s or 50s where there was baseball um, uh, but anyway um, yeah that was um, uh, the program you know under, under Ed and, and like I said the last 10 years um, so was it was it kind of the same thing starting early with the uh weightlifting starting early with the um yeah there there was a, there was a definite uh non-contact period mm -hmm. um and uh but but uh yeah the, the the weight room um in the middle of Red's Ed's tenure we uh it moved to uh, one of the old shops. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, and, and it, which really accommodated it, mm -hmm. it into being a, a, a really nice weight room because um, you weren't on top of each other. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, that the, the the conditioning part and and, and and the doubles and everything were were pretty much pretty much uh, as, as they were. And then. <clears throat> You know, so you come in, and y was it still kind of the fishbone outline of Red's program slash Ed's program slash your experience at Camel and Syracuse and with yeah, Ed? Absolutely, it was it was a, it was a combination of all that. Okay, mm -hmm. um, you know. And and there was a a, a down cycle uh, at, at that time, and we were kind of um, uh, in a mode of, of of changing a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Okay, we wanted to change a lot of things. 
but not mess with the tradition in uh but 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 put our own stamp on it uh, right you know and um you know case in point um when red under red's tenure there was red helmets um colors of red and gray well ed feeling the same thing uh Changed the helmets to gray. Okay, mm -hmm. we went back to we went back to red. Okay, a, a little thing, but you know, it was it was something that was different. Okay, it was something, you know, that that uh, we we wanted to do. S same with we we wore one year we had uh, 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 black jerseys. Um, mm -hmm. um, it, we and we only did it for one year. Um, my, and, and that was kind of a sentimental thing because my senior year, we, we, there were black jerseys and, yeah. and there were black jerseys before that too. Um, we never had black when I was there. No, right? no, no. It was, it was, it was my, my first or second year okay. that, that, uh, there's absolutely no question that we wanted to come in and we wanted to, um, put our stamp yeah on it yeah we yeah and and to do that you know we knew that um it was going to require us to win you know sure okay yeah um but we established our program we came in with with um the, the four guidelines of of God, family, uh, education, and program mm -hmm. as as being the cornerstones of of what we wanted to do. Yeah. Okay. Um, and 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 I think we stuck to that pretty well. I mean, th th there was there was some things that that needed to change. Okay. There were some things that um, that we thought. We couldn't do, or you know, we might run kids off, um, and um, but but we 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 said when we talked about this a lot, we 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 met about this a lot. You know, what exactly should our program entail? Okay, and um, a lot of the norms, a lot of the same was was carried over okay we you know we stayed with actually evening practices we sure. started with and all that um and uh uh but i think i think um one of the most positive things that we did was keep an open mind that you know maybe we can't keep something the same we need to have the the leeway to be able to transition to what might be quote a a better way yeah so you know speaking to that when you took over did you feel like you know and i'm just thinking about it from today's view you know i listen to a lot of what you're talking about and i think like wow could could those things have that were done be done today. Um, do you feel like um, when you took over or during that you had to adjust what you were doing for the sake of participation or to accommodate society maybe? Were times changing at that point yes. where you felt like yes. I got to pivot? Yes. Absolutely. Um, um, to a certain degree. I mean, yeah, y y you know, the times they are changing and, and, and kids were changing and attitudes were, were, were changing. And we were trying to change them, too, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, you know, th there was... There was um, 
a, a sense of maybe expecting not to be successful. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, you know, obviously we, we wanted to change that. Well, how, how uh, are, are we, are we going to put up these four cornerstones as lip service or something that looks good or something, or are we going to utilize them and, um, uh, and incorporate them so that they, they become obvious in, in the program? Um, so, you know, and, and, and I can remember the ver very first thing that we did when we, when we came in and took over, um, in, in the spring was, um, we recruited the kids, met with the kids and said, you know, we're going to get involved in this, um, walkathon, this, I think it was Easter Seals, uh, where, we gathered downtown as a team. We got, I got that picture somewhere. I'd be neat to kind of show that, but I, I don't, couldn't even imagine where it is now. Um, and uh, we walked from downtown to the Southern Park Mall, uh, up Market Street, and back. <laughs> uh, um, and uh, my, my and my wife. W went went with us and uh you know we were just recently married and anyway um that was that was the first thing and and you know we wanted to put our money where our mouth was and say okay if we're gonna if we're, if, if if uh uh having god as 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 one of your cornerstones you know giving is going to be part of this deal mm -hmm. okay so so we that became kind of, uh, I, I, I think, a, a, a shining star in, in, in our program is uh, teaching that element to the kids about giving back to the community. Who, uh, when did you start saying the Our Father at the end of practice and before games? Right at the beginning. Was that ever done by anybody before that? Re yeah, we always, yeah, yeah. Ed, Ed and Red did. Oh, okay. I, chess, I couldn't tell you, but gotcha. And um, then, um, did uh, um, did you ever get any heat on that? I did. Um, uh, they they were encouraging you to pray inside. Mm. Um, and I don't remember at what juncture that was, um, uh, 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 of the twenty year span, but there was a point, and and I remember telling the kids. You know, I, I I don't care who you pray to, okay, but we're gonna pray, mm -hmm. okay. I mean, if if it's if it's Allah, if it's Jehovah, whoever it is, mm -hmm. you know, uh, we're gonna we're gonna say the our uh, 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 our Father, and and I expect you you to participate, and um, uh, like I said, if you do, if you don't want to say anything, if you just want to gather yourself and. Uh, bow your head in a moment of silence. You know that's okay too. But you know that's that's what we did. And that was that from uh, like the higher ups within district, or was it kind of parents? Or I think it was it was uh, maybe a district memo or something okay. that, that came out. Gotcha. And, uh, okay. You know I think that they they were they were probably ACLU was forcing them to to say something or something. Gotcha. I don't know. But <clears throat> so so um, uh, th th that was like I said that walk Easter Seal walk, and, and that led to a, 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 a number of things that we did. We we um, um, you know we came in and and. Um, Stayed with the, you know, lifting, I think we really, really beefed up, if, if, if anything, our, our, uh, the, the, the lifting part of it. I mean, not that Ed didn't do a good job with that, but I, I think that, you know, with, with the testing and the t-shirts and the strength club and, and, and the, the different directions that we went, um, 
in 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 the the preciseness of some of the workouts that we were doing as far as uh, you know attacking those those four major lifts I think um, you know I, I I think we really reaped the benefits of, of uh, uh, that that phase of, of uh, program um, I, I, I was tremendously and and we had all the coaches involved you know mm -hmm. which was and it was volunteer you know i mean we none of us got paid for well, you never made it feel volunteer <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i never knew that yeah. you tell me that 20 years later <laughs> yeah well uh but everybody uh, would come everybody I mean, would come all yeah. of our coaching yeah. staff would, would and, come. And, and, and i think i shared this with you guys that i always felt that I I I want to I want to see my guys yeah. uh, my guys develop. You yeah. know I want to make sure that they're they're uh, dotting their eyes and crossing their t's um, as far as that concerned. Uh, and you know I mean and, and you know what what our off season conditioning was, um, and 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 there was always the the dilemma. It, it, and let me go on record as saying again, we never discouraged anyone from playing another sport mm -hmm. or participating in another sport. You know, and I know I talked about the element of having Pope as the baseball coach in, and uh, but but uh, you know, so many of our really uh, great players played basketball. I mean. Um, you know, I mean, Brad Smith was basketball player, Anthony Floyd, and, and, and they enjoyed it. We always asked them to just do this. Listen, I, you know, I know time's a, a, an issue. All I'm asking you is when you get a chance, maybe at the end of practice, maybe before practice starts, pop in just so you keep your, your toe in the water, mm -hmm. okay? Just so the guys see you. Are you know, are still was interested. it was it for them? I mean, Brad, Anthony, all those guys that played Ed Mac, Tondi, I mean, you know, you, you name it. Were they not going to play, or did you just want? Were you worried about them leaving? Were you worried about them just not being connected with the players or the coaches, or what was that? Yeah, motivation? no, I, I I wanted the players to see that. Hey, listen, I know you guys are working your tail off. Mm -hmm. and, we're with you, you know. We're 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 doing our thing that 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 we do here now. But you know, we're basketball right now, yeah. but we're still football guys. Okay. You know, I mean that, that that that, and that's the only thing that 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 we wanted. And well, and I'll go. I I went to the basketball coach and, and to the track coach and said, you know, your guys are welcome. Not just my guys that are with you now, yeah. but your your entire team, and they had different philosophies about lifting. Okay, how, uh, how does that happen? Because <laughs> it's it's one of those things where uh, I mean we're talking about thirty years ago now, and and the same conversations happen, the same indictments. The same claims of, well, well, you know, the football coach is not encouraging guys or telling guys not to play. I mean, how does, how does that lack of communication kind of happen? And I'm not saying like anybody's at fault. I'm just, I'm trying to figure that out because it's, it seems to be the same story throughout time. As, as an athletic department, I, I, I think it's uh, what I think. It's it's, it's just. Not rational thinking. I, I really okay. believe that to be true, because you know the conversations that I had would would uh, you know I mean, and again you're right it was it was it was a while ago, but you know lifting wasn't good for basketball players, mm -hmm. and. and you point out, well, look at Michael Jordan, you know, at, at the time. Sure, yeah. And, right. and, and you know, they had, they had a weight training. Um, uh, and, and, and I think 
basketball, and I'm just talking about our place, evolved into incorporating some some weight training. Yeah, that myth is busted now. Look at the guys playing in yeah, the NBA. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So, um, But I, I, I get it at that point in time. It was definitely there. Right? Yeah. I got it. And, and, and like I said, even with track, I you know, we had a lot of guys that, that, that weren't running track that, that could throw a shot or a disc uh, um, or, or be sprinters. Um, and the reason they weren't running is because, or, or, or throwing was, was because they couldn't lift. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and they, they knew how essential that was. And, uh, then when, when weight started to be incorporated into, the, into that program, uh, and I'm speaking about track now, um, it, it, it was, it was token at best. I mean, it was, uh, um, the kids weren't getting out of it what they wanted to get in. And I, I offered I offered to the track coaches, the various track coaches at the time, hey, listen, let them lift with us. You yeah. know, have them lift with us. And then when they're done, they can come out and throw, run, whatever they want. Um, you know, if, that, if that's what it takes, uh, you know, to get them to, to, to run for you. I, it, I- and this is this was always kind of my my frustration with things, you know. If 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 you have a kid who is um, genuinely interested in pursuing another sport, you know, you never have a problem with with the kid going to do that. Um, but I always felt like there was another segment of kids that would go do other things to run away from the weight room, you know, specifically for what we're talking about. Like, you know, a 280-pound kid that's not slick and have any athletic ability probably shouldn't be going to play basketball if he's got a chance to. And, and, and that's not against basketball. That's, that's right. an exaggeration. Um, you know, it's, it's – uh, to me, I think you have to rationalize with yourself as a player. What are my goals? What am I trying to do here? And am I just taking the path of least resistance because I don't want to go – you know, do X, Y, and Z on. And and and, and, and you're a hundred percent right. And and I would tell them, you know, so I, I would tell the kids, if you're going to play basketball, go out and be a great basketball player. Be a gr- you know, be the best basketball player you can be. Give it all your attention. Okay, D- don't forget about us. But but you're you're in season now. And, and like I said, the guys that excelled, I think the guys that excelled in, 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 and I'll, I'll say this, the guys that excelled in basketball, the guys that excelled in baseball, the guys that excelled in track will all tell you the same thing, okay, that, you know, we, we encouraged them to play. There, there, there was never any, no, nah, you don't want to do that. Okay, listen, yeah. come on, you, you know. Your your scholarship's going to be in football, you know. So that 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 never ever ever happened, and mm-hmm. and, and anyone that said that it did, it, it, it is lying. Mm-hmm. Um, so um, you know that 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 was our position on it. Uh, you know, were 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 there coaches maybe uh, that that you had disagreements with? A- absolutely. Okay, and if if they didn't want to talk about it, you know, but there was n- never any hedging on on players participating in other sports. I mean, that that was that that was always encouraged. Um, I gotta sneeze. <coughs> Bless you. Uh, thanks. Um, so. Our program, you know, and I mentioned this piece of it, that, that team building, you know, and, and and I probably brought got this mostly from uh, from from the two year period that I had at Syracuse. Um, we kind of thought that number one coming in. No question, 
study table was was something that that we needed to do. Okay, mm -hmm. we, we, we thought that before our kids um, uh, uh, take the field uh, or uh, in the off season, uh, we would before um, we would go in the weight room or start conditioning. You know, we we had a 45 minute hour period in the cafeteria, and we would mix that with um, your uncle Pat would come in a lot and and talk to the kids. So the education and and the faith part of uh, of our cornerstones were being addressed, uh, and, and that was important. And we, like I said, we got involved with, uh, um, you know, uh, in the offseason, and this is all part of the, the, the uh, team building element. Um, you know, we had uh, the kids over. Uh, uh, we had swim parties at the, the Gessler's with a barbecue and, and uh uh, I started at the ed end of Ed's t my tenure with Ed, um, uh, the Olympics, and, and that was that was uh, uh, a really big uh, team builder for us. Um, but we got in snow shoveling for seniors uh, in, in the winter, um, uh, and. Uh, uh, we we kind of adopted the Camelot Arms nursing home as uh, as in th that might be a whole piece. I mean, there there were some really phenomenal moments that we had uh, going as a team to not only that nursing home but uh, a couple other ones um, where our kids interacted with the residents and and sang for them and did crafts for them and and. and uh, um, really, really helped helped our kids as much as it helped the, resi mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. residents. Um, and and we tied that in with with, with some fundraising too, where uh, um, you know we, you know we'd have the kids go out into the community and in um, in their game jerseys and sell posters and, and whatnot of the team. Um, and then the the the, the parent uh, uh, element, we would bring uh, we'd have a drug program with the players and the kids, and uh, Jim Tressel came, and Roland Smith uh, would would come from Mahoney County Chemical Dependency Agency, um, and um, we'd have an anti-drug. Uh, uh, seminar type thing uh, uh, with players and parents. Um, and we had a forums meeting with the parents and talk about the program and whatnot. Uh, and then a recruiting meeting with, with, with the parents where we talked about the clearinghouse and various scholarship options and, and uh, the chances of a kid being recruited and, and uh, the letters that they were getting. So that I think was was was, you know, obviously we 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 had we got some success rolling, but but the things that we did that built that program element, um, I think, um, was our was our greatest legacy. Yeah, and I think uh, a lot of. You know, we talked about a number of guys who went on and and had their own programs, and and I would, I'm sure that a lot of that, uh, you know, going back from Chess McPhee, Red Angelo, Ed, Ed May to you, was spread throughout, um, certainly the area, and now in Nebraska, right with yeah. with Lamangi. Yeah, yeah. Um and sh you know you you mentioned about the uh the olympics um you know the, uh, us having the opportunity to work together professionally every day you know the last two places we've been we we have what we call the battle of the classes which is essentially school wide 
the same concept. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and and that's like honestly, that's the highlight of of the year for our sure, for our sure. kids. I mean, they they love it. L- little do they know where it comes from. And and and, and how that started was like I said, we were. Uh, it was actually Mike Cronin's senior year, um, and uh, um, we thought, well, you know, let's let's have some competition to wind down the year and. I, I came up with a few different activities that involved golf. And actually one year when Jerry Osowski played, we actually took him, talk about liability, we took him down to Lake Glacier and did uh, rowboat racing. <laughs> and one, one went adrift and almost went over the falls. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> they had to, they, Robert O'Malley happened to be working, and, and he had to take a motorboat and, and oh kind of rescue God rescue uh, uh, but uh, yeah uh, but yeah it started off and, and we said okay t- to wind down uh, how about having your your moms make some kind of uh, ethnic dish mm. so we had I, my mom uh, made a big batch of stuffed cabbage and guys bought uh, uh, pierogies and and uh, uh, spaghetti and, yeah, and it, yeah. it was it was really neat and, and uh it, what it evolved into over the years was that kind of waned away the ethnic part of it um and it, it, people were i mean nobody hedged on the food it turned into just a food fest you know i mean you know and, uh, right right uh, yeah and i think those are those are the uh those are the off the field things where people connect. Oh yeah. You know, yeah. as, as human beings, right. Nobody, I don't know, you know, most people don't look as their head coach as a human being. They, you know, they, sure. It, but, but you, you see little glimpses of you bring your family around, you bring your kids around. Um, and, and it kind of builds some of that love, affection, appreciation as you get into the season, the nuts and bolts of it. Um, and, and things get really tough and competitive. And then you also feed into that, that fun stuff. Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, and where, it, where, where are you going to teach a kid, uh, over Christmas break, giving up a couple days of his break to go to the rescue mission and, yeah, yeah. and, and, uh, help feed the homeless. Yeah. Um, those were some of the things that I remember that I that that I enjoyed, you know. Obviously, yeah. but th- those are those things that kind of stand out. I, I, I and I I got to tell you this, and, and, and the the kid actually ended up being kind of a I don't want to say sour, but kind of a, uh, had a shaky uh, personality when he got out from our place, but, and he had that reputation even with us, but, but we, we kept him cause his brother played for us. And anyway, but I can remember going to, uh, Camelot arms and, um, uh, them going room to room singing mm-hmm. and, and him being one of the kids and, and, and the one woman, one resident, um, was started crying. She said, "Oh, I, I this time of the year it ma- made me so happy." Uh, she says, "I remember snowmen and and uh, making snowmen and whatnot." That kid and another one of his teammates came back in the middle of the night, uh, or, or uh, in the night, and built a snowman outside that lady's window hmm. Hmm. and sang. It sang to her. Wow. You know, and whatever that kid did uh, after that, uh, it, you know, I mean, it didn't turn out quite like I wanted him to, but, or anybody wanted him to, but um, I'll always remember that. That was, that was something really special. I think, you know, and you say that it's, it, you talk about kids and a lot of times it's just exposing them to opportunities to do that and uh not 
because of family or situations, they don't always have that or think of that or know that. Right. And that's what, you know, program can, can, can do. Right. Right. Um, so I know you got, I know you, I know I have a, a lot of questions and maybe we'll, we'll talk about this in regards to, um, what would program look like literally today? Um, and, and maybe we'll save that for the next one, uh, because mm -hmm. I think, uh, um, I think it'd be interesting on what would you do if you started a program right now? Yeah. So, um, any final thoughts? No, just, uh, you know, I, <sighs> the playoffs are happening now and, and I'm gl glad to see, uh, Canfield, uh, you know, uh, uh, moving on and, and advancing, uh, they got a great win against Chardon. Um, and, uh, you know, Cheney, Cheney's their only loss. Yeah, yeah. And, and uh, again, that's a shout out and a congratulations to the fine year that they had. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I, I often wonder at times what, what uh, you know, what, what's a Canfield doing? You know, um, I, could, I could, you know, as far as Cheney goes, I could tell those guys, you know, what we did, but you, you, you know, I mean, what, what they do, I, you know, I, I don't know. And, and, and it's different circumstances now. It's not, it's, 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 it's not the same circumstances as, as we were. But again, I, I, I don't, I don't know what they do, uh, and, and, and what they don't do. Um, but, uh, uh it, it served us well. I mean, th those four cornerstones, uh, were 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 the pillars of our program, and it, it and it really really served us well. And and I, I'm I'm proud that uh, not only the kids, but certainly the coaches, uh, we all all believed in the same things. Yeah. Very good.